Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking particle logo reveal using Adobe After Effects and Particular. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to create a logo. So I've just opened up Illustrator and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the line tool. I'm going to click and hold and hold shift and draw a line down. Then I'm going to go back to the selection tool. I'm going to hold option on my Mac. It's going to drag out a line probably about 40 points, something like that. And then I'm just going to duplicate that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And so now I'm just going to move that just in the middle just so it's like that. I'm going to press Command C to copy that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit, Paste in Place and then I'm going to find the Rotate tool, just double click on it, change the angle to 60 degrees and then repeat that process again. So Command C to copy and then go to Edit, Paste in Place and then double click on that Rotate tool, press OK. So now once you have that the final thing we need to do here is I'm just going to grab this uh, this line tool. I'm just going to find that point right there and I'm just going to draw another line down just like that. So now once we have that now all we have to do is fill in our shape using the shape build tool and I'll show you what that looks like. So now once you have your shape the final thing that you need to do is you just need to double click on it and then change it to black and there is your logo. So now once you have that now you can take that into After Effects. So now that we're in After Effects the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition and I'm just going to run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document 30 fps in around about 10 to 15 seconds. I'm just going to call this composition final. Then once I have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add another composition. So I'm going to go into my project uh, area over here and then just go to new composition. And this time I'm going to call it logo, leave all the same settings, press OK. And now I need to import my logo. So I'm just going to go file import and I'm just going to put my logo in here as a merge layer. So I'm just going to drag that down into my logo area over here. So I'm going to do a few things down here. I'm just going to press S for scale to bring up that logo size. And then I'm just going to go to the toggle switches until I see this button, which is continuously rasterize. I'm just going to click on that and that will make it look a little bit sharper. So now once I have that, the next thing that I need to do is I need to go back to my project window and I need to create another new composition. I'm just going to call this alpha. So again, same settings. And now I'm going to drag my logo in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click off that logo layer and I'm going to create a shape. So I'm just going to double click on this rectangle tool. Now it will create a white uh, solid rectangle. Just make sure that you have no stroke selected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit P on my keyboard for position. And I'm just going to move it down to the bottom underneath my logo just like that. And then I'm going to hit the stopwatch and I'm going to move forward probably about five seconds. And then I'm just going to bring it up until it's over my logo. So it will look something like that. So now to make it a little bit wavy, um, I'm just going to add a effect on here and I'm going to search for an effect called Turbulent Displace and I'm just going to change some of these settings. So I'm going to bring up the amount to about 75. Uh, I'm going to bring down the size to maybe, maybe somewhere between 50, maybe even 60. And I'm just going to bring up the complexity to maybe something like two. So you can play around with how much of this uh, you want. If you want it a bit more wavy or something like that, you can. So I'm going to leave my settings just like that. So now once you have that, now we need to pre-comp that. So I'm just going to go and click layer, go to pre-comp and I'm just going to call it shape. I'm going to press uh, enter and then what we need to do is I need to come back down to toggle switches and I just need to grab on the logo layer, grab the pick whip and then drag it to the shape. And now if you've done that correctly, now you will have this nice kind of liquidy wavy logo reveal and I think that looks pretty good. So while we're here, actually to make things a little bit easier, I'm just going to go back into my logo and I'm just going to add a fill on that um, 
that logo and just change it to white just so we can see it a little bit more but we'll change the colors um, a little bit later so now what we need to do is i just need to go back to the project window and i'm just going to create another new composition and so what we're going to call this is we're going to call this uh, logo part and so what we need to do now is we just need to create a small little part of that logo so what we're going to do is we're just going to drag the alpha and we're just going to drag it twice all right and then what we are going to do is i'm just going to zoom in here and i'm just going to offset the first layer probably about by about 10 frames and then once we have done that then what i need to do is i need to create an alpha mat inverted so now what i need to do is once i've offset the frames i need to go back and make sure that i'm in this mode over here the track mat and i need to click that pick whip and then drag it to the first alpha mat and then i need to hit on the invert mat and now if you've done that correctly now you will have this small little kind of part of the logo which is exactly what we need for this tutorial so now we've got the animation for our part but what we need to do is we need to get rid of these lines so on the bottom layer i'm going to search for an effect called minimax and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change the operation to minimum i'm going to change the channel to alpha and color and i'm just going to increase the radius to about two and so if you've done that correctly now you would just have that you know wobbly um, part of that logo and that's looking pretty good so now what we need to do is we need to go back to our project window and create another new composition and we're going to call this particular all right and so now in this um composition what we need to have is we are going to have the logo part and we are going to have the shape as well and the shape is going to be on the top so now once we have that then what we are going to do is we are going to offset the top by about 15 frames so i'm just going to zoom in a bit just so i can see the frames there and now what we are going to have is those two things going off at the same time and what we're going to do is what we're going to create here is i'm just going to click on the logo part and we are going to create another alpha mat inverted and so now we're going to have another section of that logo reveal and so that's looking pretty good and all we need to do now is now we need to go back to our final uh, section over here and now we need to put everything back in there so now what we need in here is we need the particular composition and i'm just gonna take the eye off on that for a second and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a solid and this is going to be the emitter and what i'm gonna do on that is i'm gonna search for the effect called particular so now we have particular on here and again this is a paid plugin from red giant so if you do not have it please download it um what we need to do is we need to change a few settings so i'm just going to go to the emitter and i'm going to change the emitter uh type to layer and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down to the layer emitter i'm going to make sure that i change the layer to particular now it does say that it needs to be a 3d layer so what we need to do is make sure that on this layer we change it into a 3d layer and then if i go back to my uh, particular i change the source to effects and masks and now what we are going to do is we are going to have um, that section here which will be helping us you know emit all these particles so what we need to do is in the emitter um, we're just going to go back and change the particles per second and we're going to change that to 1 million so 1 2 3 1 2 3 and then what we are going to do is yeah so we're going to have to press ok on that now this will slow down your computer um, and you can see what's happening here so now i've got these nice particles coming in together but yeah it's going to be very cpu intensive so the next thing that we need to do is we need to change the velocity so i'm going to change that to about 25 and i'm going to change the emitter size from 500 to about zero once i've done that then i need to go to the particle section down here 
and I'm going to change a few things in here. So I'm going to change the sphere feather to zero. I'm going to change the size. I'm going to just bump that up to maybe about six or so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to size random and I'm just going to increase that to 100% just to make it look a little bit more randomized. Then I have size over life, which I'm just going to grab the presets and I'm just going to pick a linear slope and I'm going to do the same for the opacity over life. I'm just going to click on the linear slope just so I can have that so it fades off. Then what I need to do is I need to go into my display settings and I'm just going to change a few things in the turbulence field. So I'm going to go to my uh, displace XYZ and I'm just going to up that to 100 as well. And then the final thing that I need to do in here is I need to go into lighting and I need to enable my shadow lets. So now if you've done that correctly, now you will see this kind of logo reveal and that's looking pretty cool and it kind of fades out as it moves up towards the end. So that's looking really cool. Now we can add some other effects to this. So the first effect that I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some CC vector blur. And with this, I'm going to change the amount. I'm going to bring the amount up to about 12. And I'm also going to change the ridge smoothness also to something like that as well. And you can play around with some of your own settings, but I think that's looking pretty good as it moves up. So I'm also going to add another effect in here. And this effect now is to make it a little bit sharper. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for the sharpen uh, effect. And I'm just going to bring that up to maybe somewhere like 40 or so just so it looks a tiny bit sharper and when it grows you can see all the little particles happening there then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some glow to this so i'm just going to put the glow effect on here and i'm just going to change a few things here i'm just going to change the glow radius to about 100 and the threshold also to about 100 as well so now we've added a little bit of glow to this. So what we need to do now is we need to go back to our project window and we need to drag down the alpha underneath our layer over here. And so now if you've put them both together, now you will have the particles and the logo coming together. And so we kind of want to offset a little that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move forward in time uh, the logo so the particles will kind of start first and then as the particles build up then you will see the logo actually being revealed so I think that that's looking pretty good and what we can do on there to separate these particles a little bit more is we can add some drop shadow so I'm just going to change the degrees to about 180 and I'm just going to increase the softness to about 10 um, and you can play around with some of those settings if you want but I think that's looking pretty good. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add a background so I'm just going to right click, go new layer, I'm going to call this background and I'm just going to put it underneath everything and I'm going to search for a gradient ramp effect here and so what I'm going to use is I'm here on color hunt and I'm going to use this pretty dark color over here so I'm going to click that and I'm just going to put it and place my white over there and then what, I, what else I'm going to do I'm going to change it to a radial ramp and I'm going to um, swap the colors and then I'm just going to play around with some of these settings here so I'm just going to move this just off screen just like that and I'm going to move the other point down just so it has a radial uh, ramp just like that. So now the final thing we're going to do on this uh, alpha layer here is we are just going to search for an effect called gradient ramp and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the darkest color from that color hunt set that I had and I'm just going to change it to a radial ramp and then I'm just going to move this around just so that we have a slight tinge of color and I'm just going to move the white um, 
just a bit up there so it's just this part that's being affected the next effect that we're going to have in here is i'm just going to add some bevel and i'm just going to increase this to about six and then finally what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to add some drop shadow and so i'm going to change the direction to what we had before and i'm just going to increase the distance and i'm just going to change the color to that same blue just so we have a little bit of thickness there so so now once we have that now you have the nice particles um you know creating that logo so now once i have that the final thing that we can do here is just add a camera zoom so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a new camera i'm just going to press ok i'm going to make sure that my alpha layer is also a 3d uh, layer over here as well open up my uh camera options and we're just going to play around with this uh, zoom here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to um, go to the start of my composition hit the stopwatch for zoom and then go to the end of the composition and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change that value now you don't want to go too crazy here um, but a slight zoom will help you know sell that effect so now we have a slight bit of movement to that logo reveal and the final thing that we're just going to do here is just add a adjustment layer and add some noise and once we have added the noise we'll just add maybe about eight percent of noise just to make it a little bit grainy and now that really ties it all together so anyways that's a pretty long tutorial on how to create a logo with a particle reveal animation i hope you learned something thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video